Jason Eichelberger here, Prep Cal Track. I am with the man of the hour here, Lex Young. First and foremost, Lex, congratulations, our CIF Division II state champion here, fastest time of the day, 14.28. Lex, first and foremost, again, congratulations. Uh, obviously, uh, for you, uh, this is the, the last time in terms of the state meet coming out here. Uh, what was the mindset coming in? What did you tell yourself, hey, I want to go out here today and I want to accomplish in terms of, of not only winning, but a time? Yeah, I mean, going into it, the goal was to try and get that course record. It was able to elude us once more, but it's it's okay. I think, looking back on it, that course record was meant to stay. It's such a historic uh, thing. I mean, Herman Fernandez is absolutely insane, so it's I'm happy it gets to stay there. I hope it, I hope it always remains, you know? I think it's uh, sort of a this goal that every runner who comes to Woodward Park should, should hope for and try and go at. It's such a nice uh, peak of that mountain. Yeah. Now, I, you, you mentioned that you were going forward at K-Buck just a tad short, but obviously still a yeah. phenomenal time. Um, what was the plan? Was it, hey, I'm going to go out as hard as I can and then see what I have left? It was, let's see what I have and then maybe try to get it at the end? What yeah. The, the plan was to go out uh, as fast. You know, like we want to go out under 430, but we came to the mile 431. That first mile is extremely uh, tricky. It's You think you're going really fast. Like, if I had to guess from the pace I felt like I was running, I would have guessed the, what would have been like a 422. Like, uh, it's, I, I've worked out on many, many different courses and like gone, I'm, we've trained to go out under 430. So it's definitely always a surprise when you come through and you see like 431, 430 because you feel like you're going so much faster. So then we realized we probably should try and compensate a little bit and press that second mile more than we normally do. Uh, Cause we needed to, to get uh, on pace for the record. and. Me and Leo worked together, and I think we pressed that second mile harder than we ever have before. Like, it was extremely difficult. Like, if I'm being honest, I think I, I almost dropped off of Leo at one point on that second mile. Like, it was that second mile was brutal. Uh, I think what happened was going through that second mile so hard, we were under the pace. Like, we were on pace to break the record coming through with a mile to go, but that second mile took so much out of us that I was feeling like slightly lactic for most of that last mile you know with a k to go we were starting to pick it up it was hard like very very difficult it was uh it, it, was, it was harder to close than i uh anticipated but i think i mean with 300 to go feeling uh leo start to drop off and noticing his shadow no longer like right there was it was weird i did not expect that uh i don't think he did either but it was it, it was Definitely confidence inspiring for me. It's the first time I've ever won a cross country race that really meant something. And it's definitely gonna help me go into the national meet with some more confidence and that just the knowledge that I can, you know? And it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Uh, Woodward Park always brings such a special atmosphere that even if you don't run the time that you're hoping to get, it's just like, just to be a part of the California state meet here is, it's something that you always got to be grateful for because it's ultimately like every cross country runner in the state wants to be here and you always got to be thankful that you get to. You talked about the confidence in winning a race of this magnitude and what it will do for you moving mm -hmm. forward. Obviously, there's still more challenges awaiting you yeah. individually and with your team as well. Um, how will that help you knowing that you have something like that in yeah. reserve and now you can combine it with the rest of the team and obviously the challenge that you guys have to submit obviously a season that's been without peer with a national championship yeah how will that confidence help you it's gonna be it, it's gonna be great i mean going into a race knowing that you can like it, it's one thing to say you can and to, to 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 think you believe you can but to truly know that you have that as a possibility it's it's a whole different thing i mean i i watch a lot of f1 i think it's a great sport and the biggest thing that i've taken away from watching those races and watching the the netflix documentary is like Every single one of those guys, they're at the top of what they do. They have to believe that they are the best, even if they don't win every single race. Like, like going into a race, you have to, you have to know that you can, and you. That's what's going to be key because I know I can. So now I need to just execute on that and really just, you know, drive home what's been four years in the making. 
young family obviously cementing themselves here at Woodward Park all around that course record. And, you know, we'll remember the great memories you guys have had here. Um, and we look forward to seeing what you and the rest of your teammates can do next weekend. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Lex Young and Newberry Park, our Division II state champion for 2022. Congratulations. Thank you.